Morning, shrub crafters. I wanted to uh, give you an update on the shitting fox that uh, we've been working on here on the channel. Um, I think in the last video I mentioned I was going to change the lock over from flint lock to percussion, see if that can't uh, solve some of my issues in here. Um, because uh, after talking with um, LNR locks, uh, they decided that uh, they wanted that lock sent back. So I've got to get that sent back out to them. I do have my lock um, for the replacement uh, here. I've got um, the fitment done. Um, and thanks Volpe Volpez for uh, help. Uh, sent me some, uh, a couple of uh, jigs and uh, uh, taps. Um, and uh, I just want to let you know that, uh, so I ordered all my parts from Track of the Wolf. Well, Track of the Wolf <laughs> sends me all this stuff and I'll show you in a second what I have. Um, took forever to get here, took four days, three, four days to get it shipped out. Um, not exactly the speediest, but you know, should have been okay. So I get the, everything I need to do the conversion over, which was a five sixteenths tap, uh, for the, uh, flash hole, uh, to enlarge that. So I could accept the, uh, drum, uh, I got quarter 28 and a number three, uh, drill bit. Um, and on their website, it, uh, track says, use our stuff. Don't use this. So I figured what the heck I'll try it. And I got the jig for it. Um, go to put it in, drill it out just fine, uh, with the guide. And, uh, I go to use the tap and the tap won't even cut. So the tap was the wrong size. I actually measured it. It was a hair off and it said, uh, made in America. Um, and then it, uh, or, uh, yeah, what did it say? Made in United States. And then right on the uh, tap says made in China. So it was just a junk tap. So I did call uh, Track the Wolf after trying it on two drums, and uh, both of those uh, uh, did not work properly, and that's when I measured with calipers, and it's the wrong thing. So uh, Volpe has helped me again, sent me another uh, piece, uh, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, and I finally got the uh, replacement parts in last night for my second order, and uh, that second order took me, uh, I ordered it on the 9th, and it just came in late last night. So. Uh, again, it was shipped out three days after I ordered it. It's just slow. So, uh, you know, I've ordered a bunch from track over the years. And I just, um, when I called to ask just a simple question about, well, you're, it says made in America, uh, in the United States. And then the, it says made in China right on the part. Uh, it just kind of irked me. So I did go out and I got some proper tools, uh, which I should have done from the beginning instead of uh, trusting that track stuff was better. Again, your mileage will vary. Um, I just happen to have uh, perfect luck when it comes to this particular rifle. Um, so without any further ado, I'm going to turn this camera around and I will show you what we've been working on. All right, here is the lock. Or uh, I'm sorry, the inlet area. And you can see where I've had to take down just the tiniest little bit. And I've got the 5 16 bolster and quarter 28 nipple in there. I just touched that, sanded that down just a hair. Come on, camera. So that part all went smooth. And then here's the LNR lock. This is their replacement. Uh, Tim Thompson got that for me. So the one thing, this it's cut for a 7 16 And that's the 7 16 uh, drum, but you can see how it doesn't quite line up. So I just have to remove some metal here. I'm going to polish that up and that'll go. Uh, it is centered off that flat. Um, but remember this came with uh, no liner. So that sunrise touch hole was actually just a hair low. So when I put my initial uh, flash channel in to enlarge that, it was just off a little bit. So this is setting just a hair low, but still well within the margin. Um, yeah, I've got that pretty tight now. Um, within there. So this tiny little bit, but you can see, I mean, this is the inside of my inlet from the shitting fox, whoever did it. Um, not all of that is powder residue, but you can see some, you know, chipping, breaking, cracking of that wood. And here's, uh, you probably can't see it right now. There is a hairline fracture that runs through here, and that is probably from the repeated opening and closing, um, you know, me taking the bolt off and trying to get this thing situated. Um, but there is a crack, uh, so, you know, the joy. Um, come on, camera. There we go. So you can see, though, it, the lock is just a hair off. So once I polish up the inside of the lock, that will sit flush, and we're going to be good to go. But here is, you can see, made in the U.S., drill number three. Uh, it's uh, with my depth setting for the jig. Here is the jig, so you can see. 
And then this is the funny part. This is the brand new replacement they sent me, made in the U.S. Haven't even opened it, so let me uh, just set this down for a second, so you know there's no camera theatrics. There's okay, still in the bag, coming out. Let's see if I can do this left-handed. See what this one says. What does that say? Oh, this one just says UNF. That's funny. They must have hand selected one for me. Because <laughs> um, I have in here, yeah, here it is. Hand tap. This is one. It's an 830 second, I think. There you go. This is what I got my first one, China. Carbon hand steel. And so it was funny. That's, that's why I just thought that was pretty uh, cute. And when I called uh, Track of the Wolf, John there told me, um, he goes, every tool is made in China now. I was like, yeah, it's not all tools, but you know, some are better than others. So I did get a Bosch, uh, which is still made in China, um, but it did uh, cut. And that's what uh, is in here. Let me turn. It's a Bosch in there, um, but you know, there's the jig. So you can see that I actually used the jig when I tried to do it. And then here's a bag of all the extra parts and taps and things that I got from track. So I'm just gonna tell you this. We are almost done with the Shining Fox going to percussion. Um, once that's done, I'm gonna hopefully get that out this weekend. I'd love to, uh, weather has been absolutely terrible. We had a heat wave yesterday of 50. It was minus two the other day before that. Um, and now we're back down to snow flying. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to get this lock polished up in the next day or two, and we'll get this out shooting. Uh, but I just want to let you know, um, be aware if you're ordering things uh, off of track right now. Um, while they are nice people, and while everything came or, or everything was shipped to me, um, you know, made in the United States on the on the label. So I'm thinking the labels are made in the United States or the bag, but not the tools. Um, and that's the only reason I bought them from them is because it made it sound like that theirs were slightly better than what I could get locally, which was not the case. Um, so I've got two taps that don't work worth a darn, and then I got a bunch of other ones. There's Cassie in the background. And uh, so, um, but I'm going to get this together. We'll get it out shooting. And uh, I think I'm going to keep my business going to either Dixie or uh, Log Cabin because I've never had an issue with Log Cabin. And when I did call to even question uh, the Made in the United States, I wasn't that irked about it, but I did ask them about it. And they uh, kind of got a little bit of an attitude with it. And they said uh, in 15 years, they've never had anybody tell them that their uh, plug tap uh, didn't uh, cut properly. I, I measured it with my calipers. I put it in and stripped them out. So whatever, it's just me. It's my luck. <laughs> so anyway, hope you uh, enjoy this. And uh, as we get this fit, I'm going to get this out and uh, get some shooting because I am jonesing to get out there and burn some uh, black powder. Thanks for watching.